guys. I hope you're all doing well during this pandemic. I'm back again as I promised and today we're going to speak about how we can create a sports betting algorithm on steroids. And what do I mean by that? I mean how we can turn our weaker learners into a powerful one. So let's start. I'm going to show you once more orange software. Let's go. Uh, which is for me the best way someone can visualize and understand the concept of machine learning algorithms. But if you want to dive deeper, of course, you need to learn Python. So here is a simple structure where I load an Excel file with data. You can see it over here. Uh, it's not an actual algorithm, but um, you can uh, easily understand the concept of it. So. Uh, here I select the column, so I have my features, I have my target data, and I have some metadata that uh, can follow. So what we do here is that um, we're testing learners. So what, what um, generally, what am I doing generally? It's that um, there are two ways that someone can boost uh, the weaker learners. So it's the boosting method, which is the hard boosting method and then it's the soft one um, those methods are ensemble methods so we take weaker learners we compare uh, combine them and we come up with better accuracy with a model with better accuracy we avoid big uh, inefficiencies of the model so according to some publications uh, in 2020 and 2021 um, this method was tested with uh, four uh, classifiers uh, use this ensemble or boosting method um, and came up with very very good results uh, in one of the following videos perhaps i can give you the, the this publication but i have been testing it for the last six months and for me it's it is working wonders so how it how it works uh, let's say we have certain feature features and our data generally um, then we test all the classifiers we want. It can be seven, eight, ten, whatever. We come up with the four that have best accuracy. So what do we do? We choose four. You can choose five, you can choose six, but this method, uh, according to the publication, has been test tested only with four. So this is what I tried and it, it works wonders. So we choose the four learners, the four classifiers with the best accuracy. And then what do we do? Uh, let's see. Um, here we have K nearest neighbors, logistic regression, naive bias, and neural network. And because this is basketball, um, we, we see that we have only two results. 84% for K nearest neighbors, for the home team to win, and 16 for the away team to win. 90, the logistic regressions give us 90% for the home team, naive bias 84, and neural network 89. So the hard <coughs> boosting method, uh, what it does, it tells us that we should pick um, our prediction if three out of four have the same prediction. So if we have home team here, home team, home team, and this can be away, this is going to be a pick for us. If there are four with the same, we still pick it. If there are two and two, we don't pick it. So this is the hard uh, boosting method. So this is how we do it. If it's three out of four, we pick it. If it's four out of four, we pick it. Minimum three. Um, so this improves a lot. It's better than just having one weaker learner. Uh, and why this is better? Because let's say that <clears throat> all of our models have 90% uh, accuracy. Or let's say 90 is too much. Let's say uh, we have 70% accuracy in uh, every model. Okay, uh, that means they're almost equally uh, accurate models. Uh, and if this model, for example, gives us for this prediction 60% uh, on the home team, while the others gives us 90%, that means because we have equally good, equally uh, accurate predictors, classifiers, uh, that means that something is wrong with this model or perhaps this is better but if you have four uh, equally experienced people um, predicting voting for for a result we go with those that are more 
So generally, this improved a lot. The value. So if, for example, in one prediction, KNN uh, makes a mistake because it's a lot outside of the curve, then uh, we, uh, our model, our boosting method tell, tells us that uh, perhaps KNN uh, is judging wrong. Uh, so it helps us avoid such mistakes, this method. So we only go with uh, when we have three out of four or four out of four, and uh, um, the confidence is bigger. Um, then it's the other method that I'm following. This is the one that I'm, I'm going to explain to you. Um, and we're going to follow later on with my ultimate betting method that we spoke in the previous video. So how this goes, we take 0 0.84, then 0 0.90, 0 0.84, and 0 0.89. We take the average of those four, um, and this is um, our um, new uh, prediction um, for for us. Um, so then we take we do the same thing with um, the away team: 16, 10, 16, and 11. And um, we so we take the average um, percentage uh, of all those four. So if we have, let's say, 90, 90, and 90, and KNN says 60, then, of course, uh, the average of all those will be around 80-something. It's not 90, but it's not 60. Uh, and if we have a limit that we, we pick our predictions uh, of over uh, 85, let's say, then it's not going to be a peak. For us, because we have three of those that uh, say 90, and we have one that is it says 60. So this saves us. If this is a mistake, and if the, the other three are mistake, but if there are four um, classifiers with really good accuracy, and all of those, or let's say the average of uh, their prediction is over the limit that we have set, this makes us avoid. Um, the the mistakes uh, and improves um, certainly our accuracy. So I challenge you all to try it. For me, it works wonders. Um, I agree with the publication. I did my own tests, and um, in the future, um, I can also give you because I don't have it right now. I can also give you um, this publication so you can all follow it and study it. Um, so. How do I make that? So we, we get the predictions over here, one, two, three, four, and then I just go and create another feature. So this next feature for, I call it AI Home, which is Artificial Intelligence Home, uh, and I have the KNN Home Prediction plus the Logistic Regression Home plus Navy Bias Home plus Neural Network. Um, so it's the average in reality of uh, the prediction. So, and I have another feature for the away, which I call AI away. Um, so then I select the columns over here, and I use AIH and AIA uh, uh, as the percentage that I'm I'm taking, and then I'm uh, also comparing with uh, the odds, and I see if there is value or not. Yeah, but anyway. This is how we take the average of those four. This is how we boost the weaker uh, learners, and we try to create something better with more accuracy. Um, so let's go to uh, this Google sheet that I shared with you. Um, so what am I doing here? Uh, I tried um, to fix something that I'm going to follow as well. So I'm not going to leave it. So it's not going to be a try for one, two months and then forget about it. It's something that as long as I uh, follow it, it's going to be here. So what I did in order for me to find some motivation and um, I can have it for you here and you can follow it. What I did is that I, I took a, a small part of my brand roll in here. So th this is not um, units. So this is uh, euros. Uh, I started with 2,846 euros, as you can see over here, and um, I'm going to follow this as well. So I'm going to follow my ultimate betting method for all of you to 
check. And I'm going to use this boosting uh, ensemble method um, that I follow in um, picking, in making my picks. So <clears throat> you will see over here that um, the value, it should be around 0, 1, 2, it doesn't matter, it should be value in the end, but we're not aiming for the value. We're aiming for uh, the profit. So it should be profitable everywhere. <clears throat> the total uh, football, bas basketball, hockey, and baseball, those are the four uh, sports for now. It should be profit everywhere. Uh, I'm aiming for 65% hit rate. This is what I, I want to have. So this 51, it should be close to 65 in the end. Uh, basketball is already there. Hockey and baseball, those all should go to 65. Um, and because I'm aiming for such a big hit rate, um, you'll see that the average odds will not be 220, 230, 240 or whatever. They should be closer to 150, 160. So they will be between 155 to 190, 95, let's say. <clears throat> Perhaps this is not the best way to find the optimal value, but of course there will be value and this is the best way um, to to be able to use my ultimate betting method and you'll see uh, in the future that we're going to have profit everywhere um, up to now i have 512 bets but the, those were not um, all with this method it was just a testing file with this amount of money but from now on uh, it will be ultimate betting method, it will be boosting uh, algorithm, this boosted algorithm. Um, and uh, I'm also going to participate on this. So hopefully I will not stop it and you will be able to use it. Um, if you go a little bit here, so if you go down, let, let's say here, you'll see that every day if you go here, we'll see active bets. For now, there are five active bets. So <clears throat> if you go at the bottom of the seat, you will see that um, the 15th, today, Saturday, at 3.30, there is a game, um, and um, it's Gladbach against Stuttgart, home team to win. My algorithm <coughs> uh, says 71% uh, for uh, mention Gladbach, and um, the odds by that time that my software analyzes was 158 um, but here on the left, this is the odds that I finally found. It can be in Bet365 or whatever I'm going to be using by that time. Uh, so it's 155. This is the odds that I um, I took. And um, here is the, the stake that I, I, I'm uh, making according to um, this ultimate betting method, this uh, Excel sheet that I'm, I told you in the previous video. So it doesn't matter if you don't follow the bets or the percentages of the bets that I make um, because in the end if you go upstairs up here we will have value you're still going to be winning but this method for me it is supposed to um, work with the ultimate betting method so it will be from 150 to 190, 155, let's say to 190, average judge. It'll, it, we want to have it over 65%, and we want um, we want to have profit. Not trying to to find the optimal value, not chasing um, losses. Uh, at, at least not chasing losses aggressively. Uh, just raising a bit, uh, according to my ultimate met betting method, the um, my stakes. And uh, let, let's see where our journey will go. But I'm pretty confident it will uh, go well. So that's it for today. Good luck. I hope you understood. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you follow and see you in the future, uh, the next video.